Remember to breathe. Standardized language limits the evolution of thought. Having a right idea of how things should or ought to be induces an ink clash of standards. Please allow me to vacate with obtuse convention as to show you something new you've never seen and always experienced. Both mental and physical depends on us equivalently as we depend on it. Words comprise literal existence and we define our process through spontaneous communication. As we influence our minds with words, we shape our bodies to action. Whether I offer solution or certainty depends on your belief. I trust you as universal participant to continue contribution to the creation of ourself, won by our universal energy. Enjoy. Why? If. Please remember to breathe. Nothing may happen while we are here in this place. Free will is an illusion. Our will acts vividly in our current predicament. How could this be free if confined to one another in our immediate just stop? We act vividly when conflict intervenes. We digress to obstacular opportunity to whichever path we have been inventing. This appears perhaps to be an emergency of willing intent. If we are not in control of our will, this doesn't necessitate a precedent of external command via fatal force such as that of a god, or an absolutely self-consistent logical basis of all reality is driven by science. Please remember to breathe. Perhaps this radical penance of both theology and science suggests certain indefinite answer fluctuate by method of observation. As told by the Bardo Soral, liberation from the cycle of searching for release from the cycle of death. 